Today we continue KPVI Moore's Halloween Treat Week. So all this week we'll show you how to make fun and delicious treats perfect for your Halloween party. And today we're going to show you how to make one of my family's favorite uh, Has fall this recipe time. been handed down through the generations? Um, through the generations of <laughs> my parents now down to me. But it's something cool. that we have loved a lot. And okay. they're pumpkin bars. And they are so oh. easy to make. I'm going to have you put the dry ingredients together. Okay. In this bowl we have two cups of just regular all-purpose flour. Just flour. We have one teaspoon of baking powder and we okay. have a half a teaspoon of salt so if you want to mix that up all right in the big bowl I have two cups of sugar so it's gonna be nice and sweet nice. and we're gonna take some pumpkin and you know this is something one of the things I love about this recipe they are things that you tend to have in your pantry the only thing that maybe is iffy is the pumpkin but this time of year who doesn't it's have pumpkin? everywhere yeah so you're gonna do one 15 or 16 ounce can of pumpkin. Okay. Mix that in. Do you want to throw in four eggs? Four. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, there are. Yes. Okay. Throw in there. Boom. Yeah, I wasn't going to make yeah, either of eggs. us uh, do that on <laughs> uh, air to okay. crack the eggs. Okay. A cup of oil, which is kind of a lot, but it makes it delicious yes. and moist and so good. So we have that, and we have one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, yummy. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Also put in. That is one tablespoon of cinnamon. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to mix this all up, all the wet ingredients. We'll see if we can do this without getting it all over here. <laughs> I didn't want to have the mixer to on high. drag a huge mixer in, which would be loud <laughs> and crazy. So this is so simple. You just mix up all of the wet ingredients. You mix up all your dry ingredients. Just like that, you want to start pouring that in. Do you have uh, like certain times of the year? Do you ever do it outside of the fall time, or is it just as kind of like just a fall I treat? I don't. I mean, I could. You could. It's delicious all year round. But I kind of get like I go all pumpkiny in the all fall. The like time. I want pumpkin pie. I want pumpkin bars. I want all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Everything pumpkin. But then once the fall is over and Halloween, Thanksgiving, then you're kind of done. Then with you're it. yeah. And then I don't okay. want it until the next. Until next fall. Yeah. So, you're going to take a 9 by 13 pan. Okay. You're going to grease it. And I just grease, greased grease. it. Yeah, I okay. just greased it with a little bit of um, spray. You used like Pam spray? Yeah, or? I did okay. spray. It's so easy. So, then once you get this in your pan, you are going to put it in the oven and you're going to bake it for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. I mean, even the wow. amount of time is easy to remember. Like, this is the easiest recipe ever. Ever. Okay. You're going to bake now, it off, to cool top it. it off. <laughs> Cream, As if, cheese, you know, frosting. Here's the thing. This would be pretty good by itself because oh, yeah. it's so moist and tasty. Yeah, but yeah. No, oh. we want to just totally <laughs> top it off. Top it off, slather it in big thick amounts of cream cheese frosting. Yes. Now the cream cheese frosting also super easy. Okay. This one's a little bit different and we'll have the full recipe on our um, our website. Sometimes frostings can be a little too sweet, like it's so sugary that it's it kind of bites at you. This one has a little bit of flour in it, and huh. I love that because it kind of cuts that extra sweetness. Okay. And so it makes it so it's not so overpowering. Kind of scales it back yeah. just a little bit. So this but is cream cheese. But it's still cheese. frosting. Exactly. <laughs> Lots of butter. There's a cup of butter in oh, here. Wow. There's a, a cube of cream cheese, so eight ounces of cream cheese. Do you find that it's better to frost it when it's just out of the oven or no. let it cool it a little bit? No, no, no. Because you want, to let, you want okay. this to cool completely because oh, okay. what you're going to do is you're going to, we put on a really thick layer layer of cream cheese on okay. here, I mean of cream cheese frosting, and then keep it in the fridge, and then when you pull it out, you have this big, okay. thick layer. If you, and it kind of all stays together. Yeah, rather than like kind of smooshing down. Cuts down on the oozing. And, yeah, no okay. oozing. We want this to be nice and creamy. Awesome. And I'm telling you. Now, I see the ones you did here. You you went all out and you decorated the squares yeah. too. So. so there's all the, I use candy corns. Now, as we know, I'm not a big candy corn fan. <laughs> I think they're cute. But, they look but really I'm nice. not necessarily wanting to eat them. But you could you also, pick them off, if huh? you're not a candy corn <laughs> fan, you can do like um, chopped up pecans or chopped oh, up walnuts that are okay. excellent on this. Fantastic. Give it a try. Okay. Let me know what you think. <laughs> does uh, it live up to the hype? Yes, I'm sure it does. And. Can't wow. Go wrong, right? That is fantastic. Isn't it good? That is so okay. good. Okay. Coming up next, Hollywood is on a juicing, can't even say it, juicing craze. Find out how to get when we come back. <laughs>